Assalamualaikum and hi. In this video, I will present my industrial training for FST 678. For introduction, my name is Muhammad Afif Izzat bin Azhar, metric ID number 2018-878594 from class AS2016A. My industrial supervisor is Encik Roslan bin Ahmad, which he is the head of laboratory department at Hospital Penawar. Whereas my academic supervisor is Cik Siti Suhaila Harit, which she is a lecturer in UITM Jengke, Pahang. My industrial training organization is located at Hospital Penawar Pasir Gudang, Johor. Next, the objective. The objective of Hospital Penawar Pasir Gudang is to provide medical and nursing care dedicated to excellence, taking into consideration the social and emotional well-being of the patient. My objective of this industrial training is to enhance my communication skills in the workplace to gain real-world employment experience in order to explore interest in professional organization, to understand how professional interaction are influenced by interpersonal and intrapersonal attitude and belief, and to understand and able to evaluate assessment and reports. The figure show a flowchart for medical lab technologies routine. Firstly, we will receive laboratory request form and samples from wards and clinic. And then we will run a set of tests such as hematology, biochemistry, urinalysis, or immunology. For hematology, some of the tests are full blood count, hemoglobin A1C, or ABO blood group. For biochemistry, liver function test LFT, lipid profile LP or renal function test RFT. For urinalysis, we may run urine full examination microscopy examination. Whereas for immunology, some of the test is hepatitis B antigen and hepatitis B antibody. Laboratory request form and samples. The laboratory request form and samples were received from a ward or clinic. Firstly, we need to check for patient information on the form and make sure it matches with the samples given. The information that need to be checked are patient name, identification card number, patient sex, patient age, requesting doctor and date requested. If the sample received fulfills the criteria, it then can be proceed for laboratory test as requested. Criteria for received samples are samples were enough for a test to be carried, container of the sample was not broken, and sample matched the patient information in the lab form. If the sample received rejected by the criteria, we need to inform the ward or clinic to identify the reason and request for a new samples. Criteria for rejected samples are test requested not offered by the lab. We will send to lab link or gribbles. Requested test type unspecified. The samples container was broken. Samples unlabeled or insufficient samples for the test requested. In hematology, full blood count is among the most routinely requested tests and it offers vital information about the types and amounts of red, white and also platelet cells in the blood. Anomalies in any of these cells group can suggest the existence of serious medical condition such as anemia, infection, inflammation, nutritional condition or bleeding. Requested sample is a blood sample from an arm, vein or a finger or heel prick for new points. This can be collected in EDTA tube or micro EDTA tube. Machinery and instrument involved is Samsung LabGeo HC10 Hematology Analyzer. For the step and processes, firstly insert the patient ID, shake the EDTA tube containing blood sample, and then open the EDTA cap, place the blood sample into the collector, press start to run the test and observe and record the result for the red blood cells, hemoglobins, white blood cell, and platelets. Next, hemoglobin A1c. 
glycated hemoglobin develops when hemoglobin protein found in red blood cells combine with sugar in the blood. It is to acquire an overall view of the average blood glucose level over a period of weeks or months. The machinery and instrument involved is SureSign Fine Care Analyzer and HbA1c test kit. The step and processes Firstly, draws in 10 microlit of patient blood from EDTA using capillary blood collection tube. Next, put the capillary tube into buffer and shake well. By using micropipette, take 75 microlit from mixed buffer and place it on HPA1C test kit. Let it down for 5 minutes before placing it into fine care analyzer. On fine care analyzer, enter the patient ID and related data. After that, print out the result. ABO blood group. ABO grouping is a test used to assess a person's blood type. For step and processes, firstly, place three drops of blood on white checkerboard. Next, put in antiserum A, B and D following to the first, second and third drop of blood. Mix properly the antiserum and the blood using separate tooth picks. After a minute, observe the result on the basis of clump formation. In biochemistry, there are three types of tests involved which are liver function test, lipid profile and renal function test. For liver function test, it can assist in determining the status of the liver by analyzing the amount of proteins, liver enzyme and total bilirubin in the blood. In lipid profile, it examines the fat and cholesterol concentration in the blood that can be used to determine a good cholesterol or a bad cholesterol levels. And for renal function test, it helps to assess kidney function and determine present health of the kidney. The type of samples required is a blood serum in a plain tube. This is the machine named Beckman Coulter AU480 chemistry analyzer that is used in biochemistry tests. The step and process. Firstly, spin the plain tube containing blood sample at 38 rpm for 3 minutes to obtain blood serum. Next, transfer the serum into sample cup and place it into a rack. Insert the rack into Batman Coulter slot. Click entry, insert patient ID, select a profile whether LFT, LP or RFT. Press start to run the test, then observe and record the result. The next test is urinalysis. It stands for Urine Full Examination Microscopy Examination, UFIM. Urine test is performed in order to analyze urine to provide vital health clues since toxin and excess fluid are eliminated from the body through the urine. The type of sample required is patient urine collected in urine specimen container. The machinery and instrument involved is Mission U500 Urine Analyzer and Urine Reagent Strip. The step and process in UFIM. Firstly, Insert patient ID and name. Next, dip the urine sample with the urine reagent strip. Place the strip into the machine slot. Observe and record the result for the appearance, blood, protein, pH and glucose. The last test is immunology test. Some of immunology test is hepatitis B test that includes hepatitis B antigen and hepatitis B antibody. Hepatitis B antigen or also known as hepatitis B surface antigen can detect the presence of the hepatitis B virus in the blood. Positive test result means that the person is infected with hepatitis B. Hepatitis antibody is hepatitis B surface antibody, which if the person is positive, it indicates that the person is protected against the virus. The type of sample required is blood serum in a plain tube. The test kit involved 
is WONFO One Step Hepatitis Test Kit that includes antigen test kit, antibody strip, and antigen buffer. The step and processes for hepatitis B antigen place three drops of blood serum into whole label S. For hepatitis B antibody, tips or drops adequate blood serum onto the strip. Leave them for eight minutes to rest. Then observe and record the results. Double line indicate positive results, while single line indicates negative results. Value added. Some of the values I obtain from the organization are I have improved my communication skills in workplace. I have gained a real world employment experience in professional organization and I learn to evaluate assessment and reports. Some of the values I contributed to the organization are I have joined Organizer Committee for Hospital Penawar Blood Loyalty Program 2021. I also have suggested a proper way to store items such as ice packs and pack cells in freezer by layering each item with a cupboard. This will ease when taking the item out for later use. The pictures show my contribution to the organization during blood donation program. I have handled the preparation for the event which includes blasting about the blood donation programs, gathers volunteer blood donors and be the in charge of the registration venue. The outcome of this event was we managed to obtain 16 bags of blood for future use. As a conclusion, a medical lab technologist is responsible to perform any test requested by a doctor as stated in the laboratory request form. During my internship, I faced problems such as unclear weekly objective and various methods for a specific test that I overcome by organizing a way with suitable consideration. For suggestion, I suggest for initial meeting to be held that include the student and both industrial and academic supervisor to create an outline for internship activities in order to smooth the industrial learning process. For acknowledgement, I want to thank you all the people that helped me from the beginning until the end, which include Mr. Roslan Ahmad, who supervised my industrial training, Madam Wan Siti Atika, as the coordinator that gave full commitment and support along my journey, and Miss Siti Suhaila as my academic supervisor, who is in charge for my internship evaluation. Not to forget, Hospital Penawar Pasir Gudang, HPPG, that provide me the opportunity to be in their organization in order to fulfill my internship. That is all for my internship presentation. Thank you.